But your mission is okay. I hope that you can find what you're looking for. The adventure of grandfather's mysterious health illnesses and other things. I hope everything will be okay with you as I press the options menu. Then I could put it in the little thing in there. You could do a bunch of things there too. Okay, so uh, as I put this this vehicle down, as I put my axe down, you were listening to uh, Autumn's Autumn's Treasures, uh, or Arms Treasures, Autumn's uh, Autumn's Treasures, or uh, Arms Treasures. But yeah, anyway, it's a good little game. Uh, you just have to. You know, take it with a grain of salt. It's you gotta find objects. You gotta find, you know, you gotta put it back together. And it's, it's very important. There are lots of people. This gives them hope. You know, Poe Bros. Uh, put 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 tell Bros. You know, like you got that cool little thing there, and you got that thing there, and hey, <laughs> you could have a you could have like a, a knife head. And then the past the past would be like. P knife S. But yeah, uh, we'll click play and I haven't played this in a while, so I could be completely out of practice here, but let's just blitz it and click play and bam. Continue. This is how he shot show. You know, you just click things and, and then uh it's that and that and my dog would love playing with this. Yeah. Be, I mean, here she had do, do, doggy. We click over here. Uh, I'll just give the dog a little thing. Just, the whole time we could be enjoying it. And then, uh, well, this is my favorite line in the whole thing. Uh, I just say, "Don't go in the water unless you want to be a snack for the alligators." Don't go in the water unless you want to be a snack for the alligators. If I remember correctly, alligators spook pretty easily. <laughs> At least I hope I remember correctly. Don't go in the water unless you want to be a snack for the alligators. There's something big down there. I need something to fish it out. Hey, I saw the iron out there. You gotta get it in out of here. Let's give that guy his blankie. He likes his blankies. Yeah. Well, I can reel it in, but it might snap the line if I don't find some kind of net to grab it. She's crafty like that. Okay, I should be able to secure the canoe to shore. Just need to pull it in. You know, just like MacGyver and stuff. You know, just kind of building stuff and I'm not in. Is that? Is there something between its teeth? I need something to pry open the jaws. 
Bam. Great, I've got more journal scraps to find. That was one of the easier ones to find, because it doesn't really move much. Apparently, the Jade Coin was in the possession of the Syndicate for many, many years. <laughs> so how did Gramps end up with it? These are too triangular to be Mikasuki arrowheads. Huh, this looks like a puzzle. Let me try putting it together. Must be a lock of some kind. Whoa, tough. Oh, that's pretty. Another scrap. Hopefully, only a few more left to go. Oh, that's... Bam. That's pretty stuff right there. It says that an international country called the Syndicate trapped Gramps into working for them somehow. I like this effect right here. Bam. You know, that symbol on the prow looks familiar. It says you can tell the Syndicate by their special symbol. Wait, if the symbol is the one on the prow of that canoe, and on the artifacts at Cyril's, the Syndicate must be really old. Sunken treasure in Florida? <laughs> Maybe Crazy Joe thinks he's a pirate or something. <laughs> 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 you tell her. You tell her, Jade. What? Another? It says here that Gramps was initially approached to join the Syndicate long before he opened his antique store. <clears throat> so my assumption is that... A third box? You've got to be kidding me. Ugh, man. Is that like, you know, these peoples are so peoply. You know, you get the pupils and the peoples and... You get the eyeball people and... It's really what that is. I mean, look at that. It's totally an eyeball. But there it is. Then, oh, good. This is the last uh, one. This syndicate has agents hidden all around the world. What could their purpose be? Okay, let's... Let's just try to get this on here somewhere. Maybe like right here. No, you're right. Yeah, it can be tough, you know, finding your identity is a puzzle piece. I mean, that's part of life, you know, you just sort of like puzzle piece and stuff. Like, you know, there you are. And, you know, who are you to decide where you are in the puzzle piece? But, you know, people like, you know, they either undervalue themselves or overvalue themselves. I'm not really going to say, you know, who I am and where I've become of it, but, you know, as a puzzle, you know, just kind of. It's hard to just say that. You know, you just piece together with everything else. You just you don't know, really, you know, identify as that. But the syndicate has trapped me into working for them. Love has, it, love has betrayed me. The syndicate had the Jane coin locked away for many years for fear of losing it. The syndicate has rumored agents all over the world. It's nearly impossible to get away from their grasp. 
You can always tell who belongs to the syndicate because they use a special symbol. Look out for it everywhere. I even remember seeing it on a canoe in the Everglades. Well, before I opened my antique store, the syndicate approached me with their offer. Those look like Mayan ruins. And, and there's something about Guatemala? So, we're going from the Everglades to Guatemala. <clears throat> I guess we'll just go ahead and go for the Go for the third one here. Hmm. Looks like I'm heading down to Central America. I like this she guy's just left. Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure you'll be seeing her soon. She just left. Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing her soon. And you're sure the buyer's address is all the way out here? What? I asked if you're sure the buyer's address is all the way out here. Oh. Yes, yes, absolutely sure. I'm absolutely sure. You called before? You owned him? Yep, that's me. Where exactly is this buyer? We'll be there in a few minutes. The place you're looking for is right up there. <laughs> Sheesh, I sure hope I'm in the right place. <laughs> She's here. Here. Hey, those Cody Mundi are carrying items from the auction list. Hello, young miss. Last call for tour guides. Miss, I will be around in case you need me. Man, that guy's This looks cool. like a Mayan utility knife. Amazing how well Obsidian holds an edge. Bam. So like they're under control and and like with that, you know, you knock over the gentleman and and then like his influence is gone and, and then you blow up his thing and then like the animals are now free to be evil animals. Well, most of them. Like, if you look at this guy. This guy's just hungry. He doesn't care. Oh, that poor little guy looks famished. Yeah, you know, Autumn's like totally I went somewhere that Cody loves egg fruit. Let's hope it's true. It's totally and like some sort of sort of animal rights kind of lady and stuff. This is bam, just giving us. You know, it's just like her nature and stuff. I mean, you know, you go through this life and you create your DD, but once you got your DD, you know, you're kind of stuck with it. And, you know, you really, you know, that's about it. That's, uh, you, know, you kind of, next thing you know, you. Well, you just kind of. Okay, sweetie, stay still for just a few moments and let me find you something to calm you down. Maybe something sweet? Ah, uh, she just doesn't know how to talk to these people. I can drive her out into the jungle and let her go if you'd like, miss. Yeah, it's double, man. Uh, let me click on the tiles and stuff. Tiles everywhere. And it's like almost more like you're stuck in tile world. I'm glad I managed to startle him just enough to drop the artifact. Okay, now to figure out how these are supposed to go on that monument. Uh, yeah, I, it's, it's a tough one to really say, because... He looks like he'll be tricky to catch. No, with the net, maybe. <laughs> These falls. And, uh, click. 
clicking stuff everywhere. Hmm. This reminds me of those Sudoku games people play. Kids sure do love Sudoku. That wasn't so tough. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, look, a key was hidden behind there. I wonder what it opens. Find your nose. This looks modern. I bet it opens that door in the gift shop. So, yeah, we got this box that's like. I could probably use this to send some of the stuff back to the shop. Looks like it's big enough for more than one thing, too. Okay, that's good. It definitely looks like I could fit more in here. Gramps wrote, The Jade Coin brings good fortune to those who hold it. Did he really believe in that kind of stuff? Hmm. Starting to get a little crowded in here, but I can probably squeeze in one more artifact. Whew, they all fit nicely. So let's get these back to the store. Wow, I, I just, wow, I, I wasn't expecting that. That's really like the only time that she's ever Really impressed with secret doors. I mean, I, I could be impressed too. I mean, look at all that stuff in there. You know, you just. You got a little bit of everything. And then. Yeah, there it is. Whatever it is, it's certainly well protected. Looks like about a month after the Jade Coin was stolen, Gramps lost his store and started having health problems. Oh, Gramps, why didn't you tell me? It's... You know, I won't gonna lie, it's just kind of like a... You know, it's got a lot of... You know, it's kind of... You know, it's real powerful, so... It's a, you know, it's, let's just know that right now, and as I open up this top secret thing. The King Leonidas statue from the auction list. It says here that it took Gramps many, many years to figure out how to get the Jade Coin away from the Syndicate. Powerful warrior is nothing without a good weapon. Yeah, like if you were to do the uh, the Spartan statue thing first, and you, know, you get a different, you know, different thing, the bobber. And like you'd say, you know, it's not a crown, but you gotta have the helmet. There's another journal page. Hey, miss, that guy woke up and locked the door to the store. I wasn't able to stop him. <laughs> like uh, you locked, you know, you locked him and saw, you locked him and he saw everything and he's like, hey, stop it. And then somehow he ended up inside. Hopefully these gears will be enough to get that door moving again. Uh, let's just get this going. I have to find a way to fit these gears and to open the door. Well, that's, that's what Autumn does. Alright, I figured it out. Open sesame. Oh, the sweet smell of freedom. 
I'm glad you were able to figure that out. And now, I, I didn't even look, but there's another, there's another clue, and I couldn't tell you where it is, so there it is, yeah. This is becoming familiar. Let's see where the journal will lead me next. Oh. As you know, I mean, he's got these, he's got these nice contours, and... It's really, it's not too bad if you just kind of click on the stuff that has the water. <laughs> but once you don't have the water, you could theoretically be lost. Is you know, we are all people, the puzzle pieces. And as, as much as we want to be unique as individuals, we are but part of the puzzle and it's a bummer but uh, it's it, you know it's like a J coin it brings good fortune to those who hold it and it really does work and saved my neck from a syndicate a few times took many years of planning and investigation to figure out how to get the coin away from the syndicate I lost my store and ref fell rapidly ill about a month later after the joy coin was stolen from me. I mean, that's, that's a bummer. What have we got here? Looks like an oasis somewhere. Egypt? Yeah, this Egypt's probably the toughest place in the whole game. If you can combat Egypt, I mean, and really, you can go places, because Egypt's tough, and I know he had problems too, probably. Just what was Gramps involved in? What have I gotten myself involved in? That's a good picture. Can you help me? No, sorry. You might try elsewhere. Yes, go to Anher. He gives tours of the pyramids. Thank you. I was told that you might be able to take me to this location. Yes, I know this place. You want to go there? It will cost you... $200 American. $200? Whoa. Isn't it right here in the city? Oh, no, lady. It's a lot further than that. <laughs> that looks like <sighs> Cyril down there. That can't be him, can it? <sighs> I must be imagining things. Cyril should still be at his furniture store in New York. <laughs> I'm probably just overtired. I wonder how much farther we have to drive. Overtired. You're sure this is the place? I don't see any buildings. Oh, yeah, lady. This is where I was supposed to take you. Hey. Wait! Where are you? Oh, Autumn, now what are you going to do? Get your money back. I'll, I want my money back. I can't believe they stranded me here. Man, we're going to go for like three-part episode here, because... That cover is too heavy to pick up all at once. Maybe if I broke it into smaller pieces, somehow. <laughs> hilarious. Make axe and... Hmm. I wonder what's down there. Sometimes you gotta watch the contours. Yeah. Now I've got a support frame, but I still need something to lower myself down. Some sort of pulley, you're like MacGyver. Oh. All right, all I need is some rope and I'm all set. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, going down. This looks like an antechamber of some sort. I bet there's a tomb door hiding around here somewhere. And you make another half shell, but out of scarabs.
Where are you? That's a bummer. I've gone so far without needing a clue, but... Oh, there it is, right there. But yeah, anyway. You put in either one. This one or this one, but not that one. That's just go up, but... They don't fill up both. Now I need something to start a fire with. This should be good enough to get a good fire going. Wow, this illuminates the entire area to the back. It does. It's, uh, this is probably the hardest part of the whole game, and I'm going to try to do it without skipping ahead, but... Maybe if I try to move these around a bit, the image will get clearer. I hate these slider puzzles. It just... They just mock you and mock you and... They mock me anyway. I I get so mad at them. Yeah, you get this guy's foot leg down here. And then you go to get this guy's foot down here. But yeah, I personally hate these puzzles so much, but... But, at the same time, I really like this game, so... I've been trying to, you know, teach myself how to, how to do these puzzles, just cause... Just cause, you know, I like them a lot. I like this game a lot, you know. So yeah, you're down to like the three here, and then, yeah, there's tutorials online on how to, how to get these puzzles, you know, going. So you got th this two, uh, uh, I'm gonna try to get this guy's, this lady's foot here. Oh man, that's, that's coming along not bad, but... But yeah, let me get this... Right here... You can do some sort of counterclockwise battles and... What? I did that? Got it. She looks much better now that she's arranged properly. <laughs> but yeah, you know, there's a little trick on how to get the corners and... And, uh, I have been horrible at those, at those puzzles, like... In the past, and... You know, I looked at the tutorials online on how to get through those puzzles, and... Using two of them, I was able to kind of... Wow, from the looks of it... Somebody's been storing treasure in here for a long time. Sort of minimize them. And after that, you know, like the rest of the stuff. Hidden object finding. Creating things. Uh, whatever your take is, career building. It seems the Syndicate somehow trapped Gramps into working for them. I wonder what they had on him. It's, it's like nothing. But nothing but a thing. Huh. There's a symbol of the syndicate again. And I'm pretty sure that's right there. Only kings were allowed to carry these flails. Okay, now the pharaoh has his flail. Looks like he's still missing something, though.
Ah, look, a secret compartment. Why am I not surprised? But yeah, you gotta really. Curious. Looks like there's a weighted switch on top. Yeah, just keep keep on trying. Keep, keep going. Uh, you can do it, Autumn. All right. Now this could probably be made heavier with some water. Uh, where could it be? Uh, oh, there it is. There. This should be enough to weigh down that column switch. It's bad enough you gotta look for it three times, you know, for the three items. But then, you know, you put it on the water and then look for it one more time. It's real tough, like Tim Ruff tough. I think I heard a loud rumble above ground. I better go investigate. I like this part a lot because you make the key and then you just you put it right there and then suddenly all this cr stuff just happens out of nowhere. This should about cover the trip back to Giza. If there's any left over, I'll donate them to a museum when I get home. Oh, okay, we can give you a ride whenever you are ready to go. Oh, 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 oh yeah, sorry, I had to click on these things. Uh, that? Uh, uh, first time I'm kind of lost here because you know, I'm looking for that little thing and probably some part of the stepping stones here, but. All right, well, I'll click on this and get the woo. <laughs> haven't seen that in a while, but yeah. Man, where where is it? Uh, this is what happens when I start slacking off. I and I get lost and figure that and. You know, what's another... What's another, you know, theoretical... Five minute. You know, it's... sit there and look at this for five minutes but or we can just click the amulet this is like it's a hint and and then you just I'll find out where my mistake is yeah so I'll click on like right here but I didn't click right below here Gramp says the syndicate valued the jade coin more than anything I wonder how did he get it and why and that, that's embarrassing. Okay, uh, I've got more pieces here that I need to put back together. I could have really done that. Could have been somebody. But I mean, you know, theoretically, I could be anybody I want. And so, you know, in most spots, so can you. I mean, that's... But at the same time, we're stuck being these puzzle pieces. You know, it's like, could it be here? Yeah, it's like, yeah. Of course it could be there, because that's where it goes. And... And we're just sort of... You know, we 
it just fits. It's not fair that we have to fit somewhere, but it's not fair that we don't. You know? I mean, it's, it's part of part of where it goes, and I think uh, after this, I think yeah, I, I should probably stop because if we keep going, it's just gonna, you know, what more can be gained from it and all, and. But I will stop and tell the story about what he says next. Anyway, he's still stuck working with Syndicate. Hopefully finding a way to get out of it while protecting what's, you know, what's important to him. They will stop at nothing to get their precious coin back. What's this? Ooh la la, looks like Paris. So, Autumn's traveling to Paris using the money that she got like from those things and she's chilling and there's gonna be some more plot development and it's like go forward and uh, you know it's like you're, I'm lucky that the merchant was honest he gave me a ride to Giza and bought the rest of the coins off of me for a really fair price still I better be careful with my money or Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry about it, dear. Just be more careful. She looks familiar. Have I seen her before? No, I must be mistaken. The next buyer ought to be right here uh, somewhere. Evil old lady. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. Chester, don't think I have a choice. Excuse me, do you know where this address is? No, mademoiselle. And you should not be here all along. It's dangerous. Do you understand? Well, thank you anyway. He looks familiar too. And the way he stared at me, I'm getting a bit too paranoid. Ah, this must be it. The buyer's address is an empty alley? I think this is the place, but there's nothing here except an alley. Wow. And, and yeah, it's pretty tense when you get to this part and you get this guy chilling. Expecting to find something at this address? Not today. You know, just look at his, his mustache and. Ex you know, you just kind of. Ex Ex and, uh, you know, you just kind of. It's, it's part of life, you know, you just. Somehow you end up in Paris and you know this nice scenery, but you're just stuck in an alleyway with really, really cool graffiti. His kitchen. Ew! I bet he wouldn't want those hungry rats to get into his kitchen. Ew! I bet he wouldn't want those hungry rats to get <laughs> into his kitchen. I didn't even notice that part till I click, you know, click on it for the. But yeah, that's that's the life, and that's part of what you're pre-planned for when you're in the life of you know Chester's granddaughter. I mean, someone's you just sort of you, you adopt that uh, those traits, and yeah, we'll, we'll call it an app at that, and uh, you know, just press it and, and end it. So you know. Enjoy it and good night.